Okay, we're on a job site here where we had to remove and replace the sidewalk, but the city specifically said, do not touch this ramp. So we left this ramp in place. The reason I'm showing you this is this is a perfect illustration of why you have control joints in a sidewalk. So if you look, when this ramp was poured, they put control joints here. The control joints are those two lines that were cut into the concrete and they were hand tooled in this case. They didn't do it afterwards with a saw, but they did it as they uh, poured the concrete. And they put the control joints here. The purpose of the control joints is it won't prevent the concrete from cracking, but think like a checkbook, uh, which not a lot of people use anymore, or perforated paper, where you have that perforation. It's still, the paper is still connected to the other side of the paper, but when you pull it, there's that line that's already there, so that's where it rips. That's the same thing with control joints. You can see they did not continue the control joints through this rumble strip. Same thing down here, they did not continue the control joints onto the curb right here that's attached to it or onto the shiner, which is this section of the gutter. So this entire thing I can guarantee you cracked. This side and this side have cracked they've broken apart from each side just a little bit but you can't see it because it's broken in the control joint here where you don't have the control joints continued you end up with this random ugly cracking so that's the purpose of control joints this is a perfect illustration for it that's why you want to put control joints in your sidewalk or any concrete any flat work when you have runs of longer than 10 feet in any direction. So those are the control joints. You can see here, here, here. Right now, Junior is about to cut in these control joints. We cut them in once, but now we're just going over them again to make sure that they're deep enough. So for those of you who wonder why you have the lines in concrete that's a question i get often why do you have those lines in the concrete why do you cut them in there are they just decorative sometimes they're decorative but generally you need to have them for a functional purpose if you're going to have runs of concrete 10 feet or more in any direction